A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So uh, during the nights I've been looking at the carbon over here and stuff and I am making some water pur purification tablets. I'm going to show you guys this. For only 29 of these bottles of bleach you can make the bottle, uh, you can make these tablets but it gives you 145. That means 145 infected drinks we can actually immediately turn into murky water without having to use coal over here. So that is awesome. It's going to save us a lot of time as well. And then also over here, yeah, the carbon's finally done. I want to test how long this is going to take. So basically we do this. We go steel. 40 minutes. We don't need the steel. See, that's a big thing right now. We don't need the steel right now. So because of that, we could technically keep this in or just do one at least. So instead of 40 minutes, now 26 minutes. If you put a second one, it's 14 minutes. But it's not like, like I said, we don't have enough carbon to keep this going. Although it's just the iron that we're short on. So if I do this, like a mixture of the, of the two, we'll have the iron smelting in and we'll have the steel being able to craft at a nice speed. And then every now and then when we come back, we can put more steel in because the carbon... We can do this at least two and a half, three times. And that means we'll be able to get at least 600 steel. That's that's awesome. Or very close to 600. Yeah, we're going to be focusing on getting a ton of quests done today. Let me just put that away. Make six over here. Six over here. I'm also busy making some concrete blocks. The more concrete blocks we have, the better we'll be able to go and just make a horde base. I want to make sure we have all the pieces before we try. As you can see, <laughs> it's almost a row full of concrete blocks. And that's what we want. I think if the first row is full, then we'll start making a horde base of our own. I want to take over the field at the back. I'll show you guys this. There's a nice flat field right there. So I'm going to be taking that over as the horde base. And then, yeah, we don't have to worry about zombies. I could have taken that over there, but I don't want to be over a water source because that can cause bugs. And yeah, this over here, the zombies can respawn and stuff. So I don't, uh, even this, this is Backpack Hill. It's a known location. That over there is just forest. So that's the best place to build a base. I'll just have to see which way we're going to be looking when facing the wood. And we're also going to have to put in a proper concrete or cobble floor as well. Make sure my stuff is on. We can actually drop the... Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I almost forgot about this. That got me while I was busy driving around. So I was like, oh no, we didn't have enough space. But yeah, we're going to be doing this tier 6 POI. Or oh, tier 6 quest, tier 4 POI. And we're going to see if we can't just spam these quests because we're looking for that hazmat piece. The moment we can find that hazmat piece, the, the, the head piece. Piece, piece, piece. <laughs> yeah, because we have the chest, we have the gloves, boots, and pants. We just need the head piece. The moment we have that, we're going to go into the bookstore. Uh, next to the trader. I can't see him from this angle. Oops. We're going to go into the bookstore over there. We're going to go for the final stash on the roof. And then we'll finally be able to actually get some stuff done. So I have steel and I have iron on me. We can put that away. Iron we can put away as well. And then brass and lead. Every now and then I'm also making sure to put some brass in here. I wonder if that's a limit. Although I doubt it. We have to constantly make sure we're putting more stuff in there. And then when we come back, just check and put it here. The moment I can make a brass pellet, I should do that as well. Because at the moment, I want to make sure that these boxes are empty. So if I can find the minus uh, box number five, we'll be able to make some pellets. That'd be awesome. And also, once we have enough steel, I'm thinking of making all steel tools. But my steel crafting at the moment, my mining tools, is a 78. If I can get it to 80 and unlock the auger, the auger sucks, apparently. It's just for clearing out places. You barely get any resources. But if I can get to there, then the steel tools themselves should be a really nice quality. Repair tools. I should probably go and upgrade and repairs and stuff with my claw hammer. Apparently, if you use the nail gun or the auger, you don't get action skills for those tools. So that means if you use the auger, your mining doesn't go up. If you use nail gun, your repairs don't go up. But you can get those things done faster. That's the only trade-off. Okay, now we're going to have to be careful as well. Um, yeah, this is bad. When we were doing tier 5, tier 3 buildings, we were getting bosses and nemesis zombies outside. Now we're going to be doing a tier 6, tier 4 building. So there's definitely going to be some nemesis and stuff outside of here. I always wonder when it comes to a quartered off section like this, if you lose all the buses, whether you have, have a chance of getting like the hazmat headpiece as well. 
though i doubt it okay so yeah this is gonna be dangerous they just start crouching already my game stage is now 180 oh 188 oh this is just a clear area it's not infested infested and super infested is the one that up your game stage although that's not the only thing that can make your game stage go up so you have to be careful I think what I'm going to do is, as we go up, I'm going to clear this place as well. Because some of these places are just too big to go back and forth and back and forth to clear them. I have the military stealth boots, but sometimes it re doesn't really feel like I'm stealthing. Because the zombies can hear me way too easily. I think it might also be because I'm holding down the shift keys to move faster. So if I can put some more points... Oh, yeah, yeah, we have four points. Let me just close this door quickly. We have four points over here, so I keep I keep thinking only of these skills over here. But we still have these normal ones on this side. So if I put one there, one there, our lucky looter is going to be better. Uh, Penetrator is apparently really good for the cross bolts over here, so I'm going to put two in there. And then when we have points, we have to go for like mother load and stuff. Then I'll be able to go for all the resource POIs and get so many resources. Let's not break this. Oh, what a nasty trap. I think if I see a radiated or something with armor, we'll use the steel bolts. But until then, we should actually just stick to the bolts we have right now. And I didn't bring any frames with me. No. Okay, I'm going to have to drop down then. There's dots over there. I want to make sure I don't miss with this. Because steel bolts are expensive. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'll keep the steel bolts on me and only swap to the iron if I see weak zombies. Because sometimes there can be zombies around the corners just charging at you over here. We want to make sure they don't just uh, catch us off guard. It's a good thing that we have the stealth boots. That's a weak one. It takes time to swap between arrows, but it's worth not wasting the steel. Okay, this is a dead end. Anything down here of worth? Nope. Some people say that the helmet light makes a difference, others say that it don't, that it doesn't. But I never know which one's true. Awesome. That's a f oh, that's a radiated biker. That definitely needs a uh, steel bolt. I think it's dinner time. I just hear the dogs barking at each other. That's my food, my food. Oops. See, we don't need to up our... Oh, I should actually use the spear way more. We don't have to up the bows anymore because it's a full 100. Like this, dude. Oops, reload, reload, reload. Oof. I don't want to get infected and I also don't want to get hurt right now. But my spear skill is so bloody low. Holy, okay. Can I get some arrows back? There's nothing in you. It's a shame that arrows don't shine. So when you shoot and it hits the... the Walls and stuff, you can tell where the arrows are. Yeah, I saw that red dot a little bit too late. So they just sneak, 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 sneak. No feet to the right. Only dots to the left. Sometimes you just have to wait for that head to sway. The fact that we still can't kill these guys one shot bothers the hell out of me. Like, how? There's so many nooks and crannies over here, you think you're safe. Okay, reload. Down those stairs you go. Whoops. Whoops, it's not locking him down. Ooh, there you go. Show me your face. See, this is why I brought steel bolts with me. If this was iron bolts, we'd be dead by now. The amount of radiators and the fact that we can't kill them one shot really bothers me. I feel like we're supposed to be strong enough to just one shot these. That's an actual cop. Okay, yeah, um, thought I killed them the first time. That was a normal zombie, completely normal. So technically her, I should have just shot with my iron bow. 
But to swap, 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 sometimes it's a little bit... It takes time. I think to the right, I need to the left. From the hip really sucks sometimes. Like just now, I definitely hit him the, se the second time, but it missed. Now that bolt's stuck somewhere, and I will never, ever, ever get it back. Oh, this one room's gonna be really, really bad. Which zombie is closer? The one to the right or one to the left? I'm really glad we can just shoot around the corner. The pinpoint accuracy of this bow is top notch. It's awesome. I never thought I was going to be doing a stealth series. Because I almost never do stealth. But, I mean, look how great stealth is. Red dots. Yeah, this section over here is going to be the hard part. Downstairs, there are so many zombies. Oh no, it's not this section yet. Um, uh, Can't tell where the zombies are. They might be down, they might be up. They're not going to be down, they're definitely going to be up. This is definitely nerve-wracking. Another one right there, but I can't see it from this angle. And the thing is, these zombies can fall on your head, uh, or they fall down and go from behind while these ones take you from the front. There's gonna be a zombie above us. Jump and crouch, jump and crouch. I should probably also be getting these curtains over here because they can give you twine, but at the moment I'm more focused on surviving than getting any twine. Feral. Okay, you're just a normal feral, so I should probably start switching back to iron darts or iron ammo. But this one over here, this lumberjack's a little bit tougher than the friends. Man, look at all, uh, you know what, I'm gonna get this curtain. Let's see how much twine I can actually get from this. Sometimes you get a ton of twine, other times you struggle to get twine. Are you kidding me? Not a single twine just now. And I always use the knife because it's so much faster than everything else. Okay, now this is going to be the dangerous part. Especially at the podium, there's going to be so many zombies down there. Especially the cops. Since all of this is wood over here, I need to make sure I snipe as many as possible. That over there is a Z zombie. I'm going to swap back to the steel bolts. Even for the weaker zombies like her. Steel. Steel. I love the uh, fact that fetches show you exactly how many zombies are left and where the dots are. So you know more or less what to aim for. Imagine if it was like fetches and you couldn't see where the dots were at all. There's just the biker down there and the lady. And then there's dots on that side. Now we have to be careful. Usually there's cops down here, which makes me worried right now because there were no cops this time. That's one down. Okay, that one's around the corner, unfortunately. This one's probably also going to be behind the curtain. We'll get as close as we can be, uh, without waking them up. A dot has not woken up. Awesome. I love the fact that you can just stealth like this. Especially since we know how tough these pure eyes can get. This is a steel bolt to the face and they're still not dying. And I even went from the penetration skill. 
Another penetration skill is more for armor. Like it helps you take down soldiers and stuff. But we are max bows. We have the repeater bow and everything. And we're still taking multiple shots to radiate at zombies. That is just a terrifying thought. Okay, so we have to go up over here. Um, I'm going to have to go into that safe and quickly get the curtains over here. But also, I want to make sure that we're done on this floor. So I'm quickly going to go for the coal out here. These boards I need to rip off, but it's 8 seconds per. If it was on a container, we can just hold the crowbar and then get the wood easily, like in 2 seconds. But that's 5 minutes worth of fuel, so not taking that is a waste. It's a shame that this mod doesn't have the same feature as Darkness Falls, where you can use a crowbar to power attack these open. It, it uh, increases the chance of actually getting like screamers and stuff. You can get twine from these, I think. But yeah, basically it increases the chance of getting screamers because like two of those power attacks of the crowbar can pull in a screamer. But one power attack opens up any safe of any durability. That is awesome. I have to make sure not to jump up like this. Yeah, there's a zombie right there. If I jump up like this and there's a zombie around me, I hate that. The whole reason I never do a permadeath series is because I had a bad experience with zombies spawning in super, super late. Went into a small room and then all of a sudden a zombie spawned out of nowhere. And I only had a pipe bomb and no way to escape. And it was nighttime when they were feral. So all that put together means no permadeath until they fix that. If they can make it so that all the zombies in the POI spawn in the moment you walk in, great. That's, that's fine. You need to be able to go and see a zombie. Like, you need to be downstairs and see, okay, there's zombies upstairs, be careful. But now you can go upstairs and accidentally have a zombie just spawn right next to you. I don't think these curtains count as normal curtains because not a single one... Of, oh, there you go, twine. I was about to say, not a single one has actually given me twine. But I know you can get twine from curtains. And I have used the knife in the past before. And these specific curtains require specific uh, tools. No, oh, no, we're getting it now, all of a sudden. Okay, I should have probably gone for more. <laughs> but basically, you can go for the curtains, you can go for any kind of chair, even the leather ones have a chance of giving it to you. So yeah, just make sure you pay attention to that. There's going to be vultures upstairs, and then that should be the last of the enemies right now. Okay, I'm going to use iron bolts because I don't want to waste right now. If I can kill these vultures, we can get more feathers as well. You don't let the vultures fall all the way down. Uh, I might actually have the vulture attack me. So I can kill him right here. Because if he falls right here, I can skin him right- Oh, no, 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 wrong tool, damn it. I just missed out on some feathers right there. Yeah, if you kill the vulture and it goes all the way gone, then you lose out. It's just that one vulture left over there. Hello, Vulture. Come over here. Come on. I'll just have to skin you before you fall all the way down. And quest complete. Just like that. Another successful stealth quest. Okay, I'm just really going to open up all these containers. The nice thing is with these, you just hold this and it's two seconds open. But that one over there is going to require lock picking. I do have time charges though. I wonder if I shouldn't use those. Yeah, I think let's try the time charges. It's going to start a fire. But as long as I can... Ooh, kicking one loose can can wake up the hornet. says, sneaking over trash makes no sound. Yes. And we mastered it just now. That means silencers don't have a, a distance penalty anymore. Usually if you carry a silencer on your gun, it reduces the, uh, the range of it. And the damage sometimes. But now that we have that skill, it's not going to do that anymore. Awesome. Okay, so I need to make sure that I have my fire extinguisher at the ready. i do this. Two. Three, four. I should be safe in this corner over here. Did I? Break it? Yeah, I did. Just in case, sometimes there's invisible fires. Why did that not? Oh, there you go. Super, super close. Damn, nothing of importance over here. Okay, let's head to back to the trader. We're going to see if we can get some awesome loot. Oh, the airdrop. I definitely need to go for that airdrop. Um, yeah, we can put some stuff in the vehicle and then go for the airdrop and then go for the trader. I'm really, really hoping that airdrop finally has the hazmat mask. If I can just find that one piece, we'll be done. 
Now over here, we can just slide down the roof. I think there's a side we can actually jump off of as well. You have to be careful because sometimes when you jump, you can break your leg from the dumbest of reasons. My vehicle is this side. Okay, I realized that the trader is actually right next door. So let's Hell first do the trader and then go for the drop. Uh, technically, we don't have to grab steel now that we have carbon, but you can never have too much steel. Boom. Any more jobs? Clear zombies, passing gas. Yeah, let's do passing gas stores. Hotels and Bona. A lot of these things are now going to start getting a, like, a really good uh, gear inside. I wonder if we complete tier 4, is that, that going to say tier 7, tier 5? Because now we're on tier 6 quest for tier 4 buildings. So is there such a thing as tier 7 in single player? I wonder. Okay, we're not really encumbered, so I don't have to read that right now. But yeah, the nice thing about this one is you can easily just put a frame right there, but we don't have any frames on us. You can put a frame right there and jump up. I need to make sure I take frames from the base next. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go drop stuff off and then go for the tier 4 clear. Please, no tough zombies. Please, no tough zombies. Let me have the iron bolts on me. See it in soul. Whoa, bad shooting, John. So you have to literally be like this to be able to do the headshots. And at that time, if you miss, then they do some serious damage. Oops. Get my arrows back. I didn't get a single arrow back from any of the... Oh, I got two back. See how easy it is to... I wonder if there's a skill that allows you to get more back. There has to be, right? And there's a yellow bag over there. I need to go grab that as well. Just around the corner of that house. See, zombies have a very small chance of dropping stuff. But when they do, sometimes the loot's really good. Mortar, books. Hey, at least we're getting a lot of the uh, non penetrable food like uh, MREs. But please tell me this loot's actually good right now. Oh, hello. Bye bye. Oh, this area is crawling with zombies right now. Yeah, let's go drop the stuff off of the base. I need to make myself one frame. Well, just like 10 frames at least. Uh, I'm gonna have to make nails though. We only have bent nails. See, that's what happens when you use all of your frames as fuel. Then later you run out of. Although now that we're here, let me just grab all this. And then we have to also go by the fire over here and put more iron in. Yep. Turn that off. That's just a waste. Yeah, I'm gonna put some iron in there. I'm gonna make myself some frames and then we have to go for the next quest. We should be able to get that quest done in time as well. Nails. I'm just gonna make all of them. If we can actually go and buy the rat bike from Trader Bob, that would be amazing. Because they only reset in like seven days. So it gives you a chance for like a week to get cash. Although we need like 40 something thousand. Although I could put a point or two at least into Better Bot over here. And then if I can get some Grandpa's awesome sauce, it'll help as well. But yeah, if we can do that and actually just go and get ourselves the rat bike, then I don't need the buggy. Because the nice thing is these vehicles can zigzag through buildings. The buggy has to go through the main roads because it's just too tight of here. Okay, tier 4 clear. Let's do this. Already see my first victim. Boom. I'll probably clear this place after. Yeah, I think for now, let's just uh, run through it normally. My arrows and stuff back. And then as soon as we're done with this POI, then we'll go... We have to go down. When I'm done with this POI, I'll just quickly go through the place and loot it again. Crash doesn't make noise anymore, but I don't see the zombie over there. Nope, wrong tool. Okay, he's a feral cop, but... Iron Ball should still do the trick. Okay. I can actually hear dinner's almost ready. Because I hear the plates in the background. Yeah, okay, please don't tell me you're also feral, dude. Why do they do that? They go in all fours for zero reason at all. There's literally no reason for him to go down, or for her to go down like that. And she does that. Every time you shoot, you miss because she uh, ducks just before you shoot. Just before you shoot. Uh, <laughs> before you shoots. Whoopsie. Hello.
Oops. Better shooting, John. Okay, we have the right glass on, right? Yep. I should probably put on my lucky little goggles for these bags. But in a combat situation like this, you don't you don't have the time to just please change. See, unfortunately, since dirt doesn't make uh, noise when you step on it, uh, you don't have to worry. But water, the moment you touch water, you make so much noise. I should probably have gotten all the resources up to this point at least. Then I don't have to go through the water again. noise yet and you woke up immediately probably be using my steel bolts because these guys are eating my iron bolts like it's nothing oh nursey oh that was a sore spot to get hit that zombie outside is gonna cause problems i wanted to loot on the way out but i mean if there's small rooms like this it's going to be a massive pain coming back. <laughs> so while you can just well grab everything you need. Drinks and food. Oh, I might be able to stack up over here. And just snipe them across. Sometimes if you can just crouch just enough or just right, you can go do some damage over here. Hello. You're not part of this quest. And now you woke up all the ones that are. But I'm going to go for steel bolts. Just in case there's like a cop or something left. Whoops. Okay, sounds slow. Sometimes point blank works really, really well. Oh, I thought she was hitting something outside, like the garage door or something. Also, guys, our game stage is now 192. So we're getting closer and closer and closer to 200. And the thing is, if we get to 200, when we do quests that increase our game stage... There's way more of a chance of like getting badass kind of nemesis zombies and bosses. At the moment, I'd say we've been getting the weak ones. And you saw how big and tall these guys can get. Always, always, always check the paper. Uh, is this place feral sense or something? I've noticed now the zombies on three occasions woke up. I know the water, I can understand that. But on three occasions, every zombie inside this place woke up at the same time. If they wake up again, I'm uh, jumping on this. Yep, see, look at that. There must be feral sense or something. They're definitely going to jump on each other's heads soon. Okay, because I'm not doing headshots, I'm just firing from the hip. I'm wasting a lot of arrows, but that's fine. I'm killing one or two every now and then. I have an anti-rad mod on this bow, right? So it doesn't feel like it. Ooh, if he jumps up behind me, I'm screwed. Come on, almost had him. Look how many shots it takes to take uh, care of some of these ferals. I wonder if it's because of the tier 6. Remember, tier 6s are usually infestations. And infestations are usually fer uh, like feral scents. But then again, even if that was true, we shouldn't be getting this many uh, zombies waking up because I can do a tier 6 infested uh, full stealth on my server. But it's like they're triggered by something. The moment you just get close, they trigger and then you have a problem. Now I wonder if I press this button... Does that mean there's going to be zombies spawning in all of a sudden over here next to us? Okay. Please tell me there's no zombie all of a sudden spawning. Oh, hello. Just let's say this dude pulls down. Okay, now I should be able to actually do this. Unfortunately, you can't press the button again to close the door. That'd be awesome. Although you can, if there's no zombie corpse, just block it off. This hidden, or this uh, working stuff box. Ooh, 
Ooh, ratchet. Um, yeah, it's hidden so in the corner over there. It's, uh... Oh, wow. I actually got a ratchet just now. That's awesome. In the beginning, I thought the ratchet is the socket tool, but it's two completely different things. The socket seems to be loot only. And yeah, it, it, it's not clear in the beginning. I mean, because I mean, it looked very similar. It's just the one slanted to the other side. I really hoped in the beginning it was just the ratchet because that means right now I would have been able to do the reach's desk and the mechanic station and stuff. I mean, I have a mechanic station, but I just can't use it. Completely useless to me at the moment. Okay, over here. Yep, there's going to be zombies falling out the roof. Oh, hello, Feral. You are clever. Whoops. Whoops. Knock you on your ass. Crap. I wonder if the dude behind me got in. Nope, they're still trying to get in. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm infected. You know how long it's been since I've actually been infected in this game? I'm not sure how many of these ferals actually managed to hit me. Just to make sure that's not activating something. You think our bow skill is so high that per repair, we only lose like 10 quality. That's awesome. When you start off the game, you always lose 100 quality. So we went from losing 100 quality per repair now to having maxed out bows and only doing 10. That's yeah, something a lot of people don't understand about this mod. Uh, as you level up, as you get better, the quality stuff also doesn't make that much more of a difference. In the beginning, a lot of people complain about the quality, but you can easily just... I mean, it's not easy. But you can just make sure that you go into the tool or weapon of your choice and just max it out. So for this last one of you, I'm going to be using steel bolts. Damn. I'm not going to be able to kill her one shot, so that will wake up everyone else. Well, usually that does. Okay, awesome. One left? No, two left. Wait. Are one of those not uh, activating, or not uh, registering that they're done? Or is there another vulture or dog or something over here? Oh, doggy. Ooh! I, look, I know there's usually a dog, but I didn't actually see that dog just now. Okay, we have to make a ton of space quickly so we can grab all of this. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to grab all of it. But let's just see how far we can get. Okay, I've made as much space as I possibly can, so let's just see what we get over here. I'm also hearing a ton of noise downstairs like zombies are breaking through, so there might be a wandering horde. You think at the beginning I was using stun batons, and now I'm not using them at all anymore. that that's some really bad loot come on man i was really expecting some great loot at least from this do we have to start doing tier 5 oh that's a nice one we have to start doing tier 5 for your eyes and that's a problem right now we can't we don't have that hazmat mask yeah, please tell me that was worth it just now for sore eyes. Oh, come on man <laughs> it's like the game's purposely doing this Deer are plentiful and, favor uh, and a favorite to hunt among many hunters. Do 10% more damage against deer. I'm not really hunting at the moment anymore because we have so much food and meat and stuff. So let's go for pistols. Yeah, that's a shame. I really need some great POIs right now. Town Hall, the Mortician's House. I'm trying to think which POI will have the best. Mining, uh, PNB machine mining. No, I'm just thinking of the... that thing. This thing has a table saw inside. So we'll go for the town hall next, but during nighttime, I think I'm just going to do a little bit of mining downstairs. Yeah, we don't really need the stone and stuff, but at least it gets my mining up. And then as soon as my mining is high enough, I need to make myself a new set of steel tools. And yeah, that's going to be like level 900 up. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, gain access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminace that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.